Do you know where I can find the boat to Rottenest Island? Mm, thanks. Today's adventure kicks off in the capital of Western Australia as I make my way from downtown Perth to the small city of Fremantle. Fremantle. Just arrived in Fremantle, took a bus and a train from Perth and now I'm here trying to find the boat to get me over to Rottenest Island. I don't know really where I am, but some guy said there's a shed I gotta look out for. Ferry Terminal B. They told me that's what I want, but I don't see many people in there. I missed the boat. There's another one at 12.30, so I'm gonna try to catch that, but it's now 10.15, and the last one heading out from this terminal is 9.45. That's the way it goes sometimes. Hey, thanks for the heads up. Thanks to my uh, poor planning, I had a few hours to kill, so I decided to go cruise around town. Fremantle is a funky little place, with an artistic vibe and a young spirit for a sleepy port city. And the main attraction here is the weird and wonderful Fremantle Market. From loaded cotton candy to bon mi sandwiches to a big bowl of ramen soup, I eat my way around the stalls and, until it's time to catch that ferry over to Rottenest Island. All right, thank you. No That's it? That's it. All right, thanks. Thanks, you too. Got it. Thank you, sir. I already saw some dolphins. Ready to explore the island. Let's go. With only 100 permanent residents, no public cars allowed, and given I was there during low season, I'm able to wander around for hours without running into anyone other than a few surfers. Check this out, there's still war barracks right here on the island from World War II. Look at that, all covered over. How cool is that? Keeping a lookout. Beware, this battery is still well protected. It's massive guns on peaceful rottenness. Look at this, woman at war, Australians, women army service on Rottenest Island, 1942 to 1945. Hello. How about that? I never knew. Rottenest Island, a major key to Australia's coastal defense. Pretty sweet. And after a little history lesson, I run into the island's most famous resident, the Quokka. Just a bit of sleep. Huh? Then it's time to settle in and watch this ridiculous sunset. It's beautiful. Back on mainland, I stick around Fremantle for a while to meet up with some local friends over a few beers. It was the perfect ending to a great day in Western Australia. Cheers. Oh my god! 